why we get sick, the hidden epidemic at the root of most chronic disease, and how to fight it, by Benjamin Bickman, Ph.D., delves into the profound yet often overlooked role of insulin resistance in the development of numerous chronic diseases. Bickman, an expert in metabolic disorders, argues that many of the prevalent health issues of the modern world, including obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and even Alzheimer's, can be traced back to a single common denominator, insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas that regulates blood sugar levels by facilitating glucose uptake into cells for energy. The condition can lead to an array of health problems, largely because insulin has several crucial biological functions beyond glucose regulation, such as fat storage, blood pressure control, and the regulation of cellular growth. The book outlines how a modern lifestyle filled with high-calorie diets and sedentary behavior leads to excess body fat, particularly visceral fat. This accumulation of fat contributes to the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can cause chronic inflammation and exacerbate insulin resistance. Moreover, overconsumption of refined carbohydrates and sugars spikes insulin levels, spurring an unhealthy cycle of hyperinsulinemia and increased insulin resistance. Bickman provides a comprehensive look at the metabolic and physiological impact of insulin resistance on various body systems. He explains that when cells become resistant to insulin, they are unable to efficiently uptake glucose, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. In response, the pancreas secretes even more insulin, attempting to compensate for the resistance. This surplus insulin can have deleterious effects, including promoting fat storage, increasing blood pressure by causing sodium and water retention, and disrupting normal hormonal balance. As insulin resistance progresses, it can lead to prediabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes, as the pancreas struggles to maintain the high levels of insulin necessary to manage blood sugar levels. But the ramifications of insulin resistance extend beyond diabetes. Bickman outlines evidence suggesting that insulin resistance is a foundational aspect of most chronic diseases, providing plausible mechanistic links between insulin resistance and conditions such as cardiovascular disease, hypertension, obesity, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, various cancers, and neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, sometimes referred to as type 3 diabetes, due to its connection to insulin signaling in the brain. The link between insulin resistance and chronic disease is established through numerous epidemiological and clinical studies. For example, high levels of insulin promote atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaques in the arteries, which is a primary cause of heart disease. In cancer, insulin resistance may contribute to the growth of tumors by providing an excess supply of glucose to rapidly dividing cells and stimulating growth pathways via insulin-like growth factors. In the case of Alzheimer's, reduced insulin signaling in the brain affects neuronal function and may contribute to the buildup of amyloid plaques. Bickman goes a step further by critiquing the traditional healthcare approach to treating chronic diseases, which often involves medications that target symptoms rather than the underlying cause, insulin resistance. He stresses that without addressing insulin resistance, drugs may provide temporary relief, but the progression of disease continues unabated. To combat insulin resistance, Why We Get Sick offers practical strategies that revolve around lifestyle changes. Bickman emphasizes a diet low in refined carbohydrates and sugars, which helps keep insulin levels low and stable. He advocates for a diet rich in healthy fats and moderate in proteins to optimize insulin sensitivity. Additionally, Bickman recommends intermittent fasting as a powerful tool to lower insulin levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Regular physical activity is also critical in the fight against insulin resistance. Bickman presents evidence showing that both aerobic and resistance training can enhance insulin sensitivity by promoting muscle glucose uptake and improving mitochondrial function. He underscores the importance of building and preserving muscle mass through exercise, as muscle tissue is a primary site where glucose is utilized. Lastly, the book highlights the interplay between sleep, stress, and insulin resistance. Inadequate sleep and chronic stress can both elevate cortisol levels, in turn raising blood sugar and insulin, thereby contributing to insulin resistance. 
By addressing these lifestyle factors, individuals can not only improve insulin sensitivity, but also enhance their overall well-being. In conclusion, why we get sick is a call to action for individuals to understand the profound health implications of insulin resistance and how pervasive it really is. Through a combination of dietary guidance, lifestyle modifications, and a critique of standard medical narratives, Benjamin Bickman, Ph.D., provides a blueprint for preventing and combating the host of chronic diseases that plague our modern society by addressing their common root, insulin resistance. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.